We are excited to share with you today how Spanner transactions work at planet scale. I'm John Corwin. And I'm Rose Liu. We're software engineers working on Cloud Spanner here at Google Cloud. Spanner is a relational database that provides strong transactional consistency, horizontal scalability, and industry-leading five nines of availability. Spanner regularly serves over 1 billion queries per second. Traditional relational databases generally provide schema, SQL, and consistency, but not horizontal scalability or high availability. On the other hand, non-relational databases generally provide the scaling and the availability but not the easy to use relational model. In this talk, we describe how Spanner provides these best aspects of relational and non-relational databases. Spanner scales by automatically sharding data into splits corresponding to key ranges. In this example, we show a singer's table whose primary key is singer ID. In this diagram, we show how the ranges of Singer ID are mapped to different splits. Here, we see that split one is associated with the key range Singer IDs 4 to 224, and split two is associated with Singer IDs 225 to 1265. Spanner dynamically creates and merges splits based on data size and request load. Now that we've discussed how Spanner automatically shards the data, we need to distribute the splits of data across many nodes. Spanner decouples compute from storage to enable fast load balancing and scaling without needing to copy data. The data in each availability zone is stored on a distributed file system called Colossus, providing high durability based on erasure coding. Compute nodes are assigned different splits to serve based on load. For example, if split one served by node one experienced a sudden spike in load, then Spanner can automatically move split two to a different node. So there would be more compute to serve split one. If the overall instant CPU usage across nodes is high, you can scale instantaneously by adding more nodes. To provide high availability, Spanner replicates the database to multiple availability zones. Here, we show a single region Spanner database, which consists of three full replicas, one in each zone, A, B, and C. Spanner uses the Paxos consensus protocol to provide transactionally consistent replication across zones. For example, when a transaction updates data in split two, the nodes hosting the Paxos group consisting of all replicas of split two will coordinate the commit to agree on the commit status and the commit timestamp. One of these nodes is the leader. Here, we show that node one in zone C is the leader for the Paxos group of split two. And that node is in charge of the coordination as well as locking the relevant data. And that's why all operations in read write transactions need to be served by the leader node of the corresponding Paxos group. On the other hand, read only transactions can be served by any replica in any of the zones. In the previous slide, we talked about how Spanner achieves transactional consistency for operations within a single split. What if a transaction updates multiple splits? All these updates need to be atomically applied. Spanner uses a two-phase commit protocol where one of the leaders 
across Paxos groups is elected to coordinate with the other leaders to determine the commit timestamp and commit status. In this example, we are showing a transaction updating data in splits two and three. The leaders of the Paxos groups of two and three are node one in zone C and node two in zone B. And they need to coordinate the transaction using two-phase commit. This two-phase commit protocol is built on top of highly available Paxos groups, enabling Spanner to provide high availability and externally consistent transactions across any data within the database. Now, let's talk about how Spanner provides even higher scalability and performance. Spanner implements multi-version concurrency control, meaning Spanner maintains multiple immutable versions of the database at any commit timestamp within the retention period, which is configurable up to seven days. This allows you to read transactionally consistent data at a point in time without needing to acquire locks by using a read-only transaction. Read-only transactions enable higher parallelism between reads and writes. With a read-only transaction, you can specify a time in the past or select a strong read where Spanner will use true time, a highly available distributed clock, to select a timestamp that is guaranteed to see the effects of all previously committed transactions before the read request, providing external consistency. For example, we can read an externally consistent version of the database at T1, a time in the past, or we can do a strong read to see the latest externally consistent version of the database at T3. In summary, Spanner gives you the easy to use programming model of a single machine SQL database while providing world-class availability and scale. In today's talk, we showed how Spanner achieves this by automatically sharding data across nodes for scalability, decoupling storage from compute for fast load balancing, replicating using Paxos for consistency and high availability. Using two-phase commit to provide transactional consistency across shards. And finally, enabling read-only transactions without locking with multi-version concurrency control and true time for higher scalability. To learn more about Cloud Spanner or to try it out, please check out these links. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you enjoyed this session.